So when it comes to Kadarius Tony, it's very tricky, right? Because, all right, we know that Kadarius Tony, he was very hyped up when the Chiefs first traded for him. I mean, he was a, a absolute stud in college. Um, his rookie season, he wasn't that bad. He had 39 receptions and 420 yards, and he didn't even play that whole season. So Kadarius Tony, he has great talent, amazing talent, right? But the issue with him, obviously, he can't stay healthy, and it's times where his head is just simply not in the game. But what the what the um, Kansas City Chiefs are trying to do, they're trying to install a new type of skill set to Kadarius Tony. And it really looks like they're trying to give him that wide back role. That's what it really looks like. I'm sorry if I'm showing super old clips. I'm actually sorry about that. I'm literally um, just trying to get some clips to mix it up with the Tony clips. But yeah. So, former Florida football receiver Kadarius Tony, he believes he's a number one receiver in the NFL still. But if he gets only if he gets the opportunity to show it. So Tony said, yeah, if I get the ball, I'm a number one receiver. If I get the ball, yeah, I'm a number one receiver. And Tony's a former first round pick. So the truth is that he should ha be having a better career than he's having right now. I mean, when we first got him, man, it looked great, bro. I mean, he was killing it. Remember when we first got him in that trade deadline during that season? The second half of the season, he went crazy. He was locked in. He was going crazy. He was changing everything. We thought that we was about to be Gucci. Like, you know, we thought we had our number one wide receiver, but things changed, man. Tony started, you know, I, I don't know. He started just to, I don't know, man. It's like that second season. He, I mean, he even had a good playoff run. It's like that season after that, he just fell apart, drops. I mean, I blame it. I blame it. Well, I blame the injury, right? The injury that he had and then him getting rushed back to play without a training camp or anything like that. That forever changed it to Kadarius Tony. So Kadarius Tony kind of got screwed over due to the fact that he was literally rushed to play and he didn't have a training camp. He didn't get to practice. He didn't get through any of that. He didn't have the preseason, nothing. So he was rushed right back to the football field, which obviously was a recipe for disaster for him, you know? He was expected to be one of the Chiefs' top weapons this season, man. He really, really was. Um, but he ended up only catching 27 passes for 169 yards and a touchdown. So I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, when we did acquire him, um, we gave up a 2023 third-round pick and a 2023 sixth-round pick, which was obviously nothing, you know? And there's times where he's, you know, he's flashed his game-breaking ability. Where he was a rookie in 2021, he finished with a career-high 10 receptions and 196 combined yards against the Dallas Cowboys in his fourth game effort, man. So, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't understand why he can't just get it figured out. Um, and now it's going to be even harder to get it figured out because Ross, Hollywood, Rice, like, come on, bro, Worthy, like, Come on, man. Like, he, he has a lot of competition now, and it's that that's just bad for him, you know. But he's not going to get cut. I think he's going to continue to play with us still. But now, it looks like they're trying to put him in a running back wide receiver type of role, trying to make him, like, on some Jack McKinnon type stuff, which you know, it may not be that bad. I mean, the guy has insane talent with the ball in his hands, right? I mean, he breaks tackles very good. Um, He's very hard to bring down. He is speedy like he makes great cuts he jukes very well he has great footwork so running back may not be the worst thing possible for Gadarius tony i mean the chiefs are putting him in running back drills at the end of the day so it is a possibility that he actually is going to play running back and we're going to be seeing Gadarius tony play running back um 20 overall pick of the first round in 2021 so he's definitely supposed to be you know doing more than what he's doing right now and he didn't work out with the giants but he also kind of did a workout with us, you know, but he still got time to make things right. So now it looks like the Chiefs are looking to have Tony add more to the offense as an option running back because obviously he could play wide receiver as well, but, you know, it, it's, it's not, he's not going to thrive, in my opinion. He's just not going to thrive. So, yeah, man. Um, Tony did run the ball 11 times for 31 yards and a touchdown. 
that obviously doesn't sound like much, but Tony had a pair of 14-yard runs last season and one against the Eagles in Week 11 and this and, and another one against the Buffalo Bills in Week 14. So it does make a lot of sense that the Chiefs have him in running back drills. I mean, I understand it. I see the vision. I see what they're trying to accomplish by doing that. It definitely does make sense. But um, Isaiah Pacheco is obviously the Chiefs' primary running back, and he's a very good one. But Tony could definitely add quite a bit of, you know, spice to Andy Reid's offense as a good running back option. So that right there is definitely, you know, that's something. But a lot of people also say Kadarius Tony may be a release candidate. Like some people think he's going to get released. Um, I personally don't think that, to be honest with you. I don't think that. I think the Chiefs are actually finding the best way to um, use him. Right, and they're gonna develop him in this type of way. You know, if Tony's working with the running backs, best believe Andy Reid has something coming. And he has a role for Tony coming up. Cause he wouldn't work with the running backs for no reason. You feel me? He really wouldn't. So I think Andy Reid has a plan for Tony when it comes to running back. And obviously he's a wide receiver still, so he's still gonna be catching, you know, passes and stuff. And when you look at a guy like Justin Ross, you know, he is going to compete. Probably one of them dudes competing with Tony to be that wide receiver for that beast, you know. So I don't know, man, because Ross is looking like he's hungry. He looks like he's on a mission. So it's like, you know, it, it's really like who knows what's going to happen next season, man. I, I don't know. Because outside of Worthy, Rice, and um, because first of all, Rice is not guaranteed to play the whole season. But outside of Worthy... Hollywood and Rice, when it comes to all these other wide receivers, it's going to be an interesting race to see who puts up the most yards, who puts up the most stats. Like, it's going to be very interesting, man. My call, well, my prediction is Ross, to be honest. I think Ross is going to put up the best, you know, possible numbers, but that's firstly what I think, man. That's just what I think. But, um, yeah, I mean, Tony, I, I don't know, bro. The truth is, that he may just be better off as a running back, honestly, or, you know, a running, a wide back. That's what I think he should do, a wide back, you feel me? Because he's not going to be that guy. He's not going to be the wide receiver one like we always imagined or we wanted him to be. I don't see it happening, dog. I just don't see it happening. Um, so the, right now they're just experimenting with a role where they could use his, his elusiveness and his quickness out of the backfield. So it's not really... You know, it's similar to how the San Francisco 49ers deployed Debo Samuel in the past. So that is, that, that's that. But um, if y'all enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, comment, turn on the bell. It's me, your boy, Cheese Rider, and I'm out, man. Peace.